man. I threw up on my glasses. What the hell was that? You could have died right there, you know that? Yeah, I do. Are you hearing me? Who gives a shit? You could have died killing those saviors, both of you, but you didn't. You want to live, you take chances. That's how it works. That's what I did. For a couple of damn sodas. Nope. Just dude. this one. Phew, man, I'm telling you what, dude. Even the shows that take it easy, it just, there's always something. You would think they'll make it, I actually thought they are going to make it home. I thought it would be one of those episodes where everybody back home say, but you know what, though? I, I Not to get to the very end, but we'll get to yeah. that point. But but tell you I what, made a prediction last week. I thought that uh, it was going to be the road trip of Tara and uh, and Kyle or whatever his name is. and But it wasn't. It was the road trip of, of well, a couple. We actually had two side-by-side -side road trips kind of going simultaneous. Mm -hmm. They yeah, did, too. One, hand, one had, with Eugene. Yeah, Eugene and Abraham. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, this is Ross Miller. Welcome to Bring Out the Dead. We got a little jump on everything. Because we're just so excited about this show. We just went right into it, so that's fine. Go ahead, yeah. where well, you left off. And I'm yeah, telling Lamar, Lamar in Austin, Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas out there. And yeah, Recovery but what I was South thinking Island. is that, um, you know, first of all, they were showing that days were passing and, uh, and not a doctor kind of kept looking for Tara out there. You know, you can kind of see she was waiting on her. And day after day went by, Morgan, you know, building his holding cell, <laughs> whatever that's all about, you know. And uh, but when it really came where, down where, to where the road Tara? trip, with I just I really didn't expect to have a road trip with not a doctor and uh, Daryl and and um, and Rosita, and I think that's cool because it was totally something I didn't expect, and that's what the show delivers every time, even the slow shows. What happened I to like, Tara? Man. What happened to Tara? Uh, Tara's on the road trip with Kyle. Kyle. Remember the at the end of oh my god, at the end of last week's show, they drove off in that truck. They were going out. That was their plan. That's remember. Oh, that's yeah. right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Man. Okay, let's start over. Cut that. Uh, yeah, part you know, we sound like real professionals. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you know you have you have them out on the road trip. I was expecting to see Tara and in Kyle's story. But instead, we see this other story, and I just, I like that. That's what I love about the show, is they're always giving you something you don't expect. Yeah, and it, it, it delivered, again, the mm -hmm. show, well-paced. Uh, it was a good mission, something they really needed. They need medicine. But the whole thing was, I'm getting from this episode, is that they're gathering their nuts. No no joke. No, no pun seriously, intended. they are. Later on. You know, they're, I mean, look at the fact that, you know, Eugene said, we got to start making yep. bullets, which was freaking... On yeah, one hand, absolutely. they're like, look, we need medication. We're going to need medication. We might as well go check this place out. On the other hand, here's Eugene saying, look, we're going to need ammunition. That is our commodity. That is, you know, our defense. That is everything. And, yeah, absolutely. And when he was trying to say, no, you know, I'll show you that I'm a warrior, it's like, come on, dude, you're really not. You're trying to be something you're not, and that's going to get you killed. You know, And but, hey, he proved it wrong, so... No, it's still, uh, yeah, it's, I was thinking about the whole time, it's going to be really noisy, it's going to attract zombies mm -hmm. and people, and it's just not a good idea, but they do need yeah. it, it's going to draw attention, but, you know, it was still, like, a hell of a bad idea, Eugene's approach to Abraham probably wasn't the smartest, but it's just how Eugene is, mm -hmm. he could have phrased it totally different, but he's being a complete dumbass at the same time. But it was needed, though, because think about this. If everything was cool between Abraham and, and Eugene, you wouldn't be able to have that rescue. Right, they would have been caught together. <laughs> yeah, so definitely uh, a good. And so far, it's back into the, uh, the whole thing with the not a doctor. It was, it was to me, I felt that she was going to be a, a good character. They're going to move on. I mean, I was happy. I was looking forward to seeing more of her. And it and she came shows around. that you haven't learned anything in all these years. <laughs> The minute the minute you, you think, think, oh, this one, she's great. Grow in a great new addition to the group. It would have been nice, you know. <laughs> it would have been nice, but again, Walking Dead keeps surprising me. I, Keep me on my I toes. I love it when they're at the beginning before everybody left, and uh, and uh, Daryl asks Carol, you know, what did what did those guys make you do? Or what they do to you? That's what he asked. What mm -hmm. they do to you? 
And Carol's walking off. They didn't do anything to us. And it's like, that's how, that's the hard reality is that you had two really seriously fierce warriors. Even though Carol's losing the flavor of it, you know, she's not into it anymore. She's kind of, she got, she went all Morgan on us all of a sudden. <laughs> absolutely. Well, that's okay. You can finish coughing before you answer. <laughs> I was like, absolutely. <laughs> that's funny. Sorry, I got cough there. Um, Go for it. As you're saying, as you're saying about Carol. Go ahead and continue. No, hit hit that absolutely. What was your point going to be? Actually, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they you know, and even to the point when uh, Carol bails out from the group when she's like, I can't be here anymore because caring about you is going to cause me to kill for you, and I can't kill for you anymore. You know, you saw Morgan at the end with that. With that, uh, what the hell was going on? That crazy swinging, creaking swing set or whatever it is in his mind. Mm -hmm. You Mm -hmm. know, and he's there staring all crazy and shit. But I think that he's going to go after her. What what do you think? Maybe a new spinoff Morgan and Carol show? I don't know, man. I'm like done with her. Statler and Waldorf? No, I think she does need to go. I love Carol. I think she's a great character. But I think that Mm -hmm. she does absolutely need to go. And who knows what will come of her leaving, you know? Maybe she'll come at the, the season seven. I don't know, but the thing is, well, I, I'm a little tired if, of her coming back. If she's gonna leave, let's have her leave. Not, you know. <laughs> well, well, no, no, no. This is not. This is she's leaving on her own this time. Last time, Rick took right. her ass out, so it's a little bit mm-hmm. different. But she just it, it, in, you know, there's sometimes you in situation you feel like you never walk. You're not really back, right? You know, and I think she just came to terms with that in this episode. Everything she's gone through, because she lost everything. Yeah. You know, and and then she some. lost everything. Yeah, so the thing is that if she's on her own, she still has to kill out there. She's gonna not gonna kill zombies. What, I mean, was she gonna walk the earth? I mean, what? what do you mean she's not she's gonna, gonna, gonna go from she town to, to town survive. and solve crimes. She's gonna be like the freaking the walking kung yeah. fu. <laughs> hey man, I wouldn't fuck with Carol. You know, she's more dangerous on her own than she is in a group. Yeah, man, definitely. But <laughs> I want to go back to one thing. I didn't mean to make a joke, but I it did come to my mind when that arrow went through not a doctor's head. I said, "Ooh, there goes arrows." I mean, Daryl's. Yeah, Daryl's crossbow. crossbow absolutely. He he got his he motorcycle got his and his crossbow back in the same episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but how, oh, that guy got burnt. That was um Dwight. Yep. How did that happen to his face? How did that happen I don't, again? It's, I don't know was, if that was in the episode. I don't remember that actually happening. In the episode they were in previously? Yeah, I, I remember them and, when they stole the bike from Daryl, but I don't remember him getting burned. It, it may have happened afterwards. No, well, most definitely happened afterwards because he wasn't like that. When they yeah, and, and nothing happened in that episode. So I don't know, something, maybe that was his rite of passage to get in with the saviors or something. You know, who knows? Yeah, he's a, I wasn't trying to aim for her just to let you yeah, know. Yeah, he's like, he's got a hell of a kick. <laughs> Daryl's like, you're too big of a pussy for my crossbow. Give me the fuck back right now. Yeah, he was sitting there shaking. He wanted to kill every single one totally. of them. You could see how he was just breathing and like, he's like, I'm ready to kill yeah. every last one of you. But the one thing I, I came from this episode at the very end was when they were burying the Nod Doctor. Mm-hmm. Is that I'm thinking, Negan? Okay, now we're gonna start burying your people. That's all I'm mm-hmm. thinking. That's that's I came from that. It's like now it's time to bury yours, because it's been a nice little break. They could've been watching them, but who knows? It's like you said, been weeks. Well, you've got to think first of all. These guys know about their place. They said, you know, it looks real nice inside there, so they know about mm-hmm. Alexandria. You know, and they're they are definitely upon them at this point. It's not like they're gonna, you know, they're not they're not leaving anytime soon. No, the next episode, they're going to be pretty much knocking on yep. their door. Because that, what he said, we're going to come in there, take what we want, and the people we want. Yep. Pretty much. You know, so you're you're getting a taste of what they mm-hmm. do. You know, the saviors, pretty right. much. Right, no, so. absolutely. And, you know, I don't know, did we see Negan in that crowd who took off? Yeah, I don't know, I, maybe. I, I didn't maybe see him. I was looking. <laughs> I was really looking. No, but, you know, we still got two episodes to go. Retreat, retreat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have one episode left where I could be right. 
And yeah, man, I'm sorry you're gonna fail. Come on, now at this point you just gotta know. No, I it's, never expected it, it to, be. to be early. I always said it was gonna be before the last one. That's all I said. And I got yeah, one I episode to go. I'm hanging on oh, with good. both teeth and shit. I don't care. You can shit in one hand and wish in the other and see which one comes. Oh no, I'm first. not wishing. This is a prediction. It's different. All prediction. Yeah. Okay, fine. This is a Nostradamus nope. kind of shit. Is what this is. That's what this is. I uh, I see your future. And your future is failure. sad. You're alone, <laughs> crying in a room. I don't. I don't want to tell you about your future because you may just off yourself now. Which actually will save time and money for as everyone. As long as I don't got to bite a dick, I don't care what the future holds. Now, holy cow! Okay, let's talk about Eugene really quick, because. You think he's gay? No, it isn't about to... being gay, but talk about committing to the effort. <laughs> what? I mean, come on, he's handcuffed. He, he didn't right? have a lot of options. But the fact that he and, had you know, the balls to actually do that shit, you know, hey, you got to do what you got to do. If bite the dick keeps you from dying, fuck yeah, you bite that fucking dick right off. I know you got to hold on for dear life. Yeah. Dude, man. I mean, you could hit him in the head. I mean, because his hands mm-hmm. are tied. I'm surprised the guy didn't start beating. That'll be the first thing I would start doing. Is like, fuck this. I'm gonna beat his head in right yep. now. Get off my neck. <laughs> you know that what I mean? Hurts. You would think that would be the yeah. natural reaction, but <laughs> hit hit the head. Hit the head. Yeah, you gotta screaming. hit the head when my dick hurts. That's the way it works. <laughs> says, I need this for later. Oh yeah, speaking of uh, Rosita, who the hell is that guy? Just I don't know. We're no dating. Just no. Dating. She's just out playing the field and shit. She's just. <laughs> Hey, what's up, neighbor boy? <laughs> <laughs> he felt so cheap, man. He's just like, I, I yeah, he's like, what more. are we doing here? She's like, we're doing dinner, I guess. Jesus Christ, you fucking it's like it's role reversal, needy bitch and shit. <laughs> Dude, I'd be like, oh, I see you tonight. Come on, think about yeah. that. If she was just hidden every night, I'm not saying I would do it because I'm a I'm a married man. But I'm saying if I was yeah, single, I, w- I wouldn't just be hiding just... behind the bookcase. I'll tell you that. I'm telling you what, I've been totally fine with that. I'll see you later. Okay, cool. Bye. You know, cool. Why last? Keep it wild. Keep... Why mess up a good thing? But you mentioned role reversal. I think it's interesting. As Carol was saying that she's done, like she's just had enough already, and she's moving on, you kind of, they were showing shots of Father Gabriel, who in a sense is kind of ready to pick up the slack that, that Carol is leaving behind. Like he's he's gotten to that place where he is prepared now. And I'm interested in seeing what he does. At this point, though, once he decides to actually do something, he'll probably be dead in, like, one episode. But, hey, you know, that's the way the show goes. What can we do? I'll tell you what. Who comes on a blaze of glory shooting up, being taken by zombies, or by the saviors? I'm cool either mm-hmm. way. This gave me one cool pose of him shooting that gun, screaming, Ah, in the name of the Lord. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> How funny would that be? No, be I love it. I loved when he was... Uh, you know, saying that little prayer about, oh, you know, my my father's kingdom has, you know, many rooms, whatever it was. I'll prepare yours now. Boom, man. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I want to see out of Father Gabriel's. I want to see. Uh, man, I don't know how you remember lines uh, like that. I just want to see mix a mix of the, like, you know, the, the, the attempt to stay holy and pure yet coming to terms with the realities of this world. That's what I want to see out of that character. Well, that, yeah, that's pretty much what he's boiled down to now. That he, the, I'm a man of God, but damn, I need to hold, hold some bullets. Right, well, the thing is, I, I, I need to, to protect some. my flock. He's kind of like the uh, Father Gregory in uh, Half-Life 2, where he's like, I'm here for my flock. <laughs> you know, he's going to start just, you know, being badass. If he goes that route, Walking Dead would be the best show yeah. ever <laughs> i would love to just see him go nuts on this i would like him to see him go a little bit down rick's path because he's already got the loss and the pain in his life and at this point he needs something to get him over that hump to step up and do really what needs to be done to take the proper place that he can take in this group mm-hmm. and with carol leaving now there's the perfect opening for him so well i will say this without giving any spoilers away those who read the comic book we saw something that totally came straight out of the comic book, and I really it was very happy to see it. That it was really cool, but uh, it was just something out of the blue. Just this is shot to the, the ones who read the comic book. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Well, what so, was it? That's it. Does it give something away for the next episode? 
if if I if not for the next episode, I don't want to say. Just I'm gonna leave it that way. But I tell you well, what, you're gonna you need to write this um, down and remember because in the by the end of the season, I want to hear what the hell you're talking about. No, 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 no. It's it's much later. But I can tell you this much: when it happens, I will t- I will go. Believe me, I'll follow yeah, up. I hope so. You, you got to do it now. You got to do it, or you owe me a dollar. Oh, dude, there's no way I'm gonna forget uh-huh. this. I was just happy to uh-huh. see it. It was just cool. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, it's nothing like, it's, it's, uh, we'll see. foreshadowing. So, yeah, just as far as the, uh, yeah. well, for some foreshadowing, how about uh, Abraham and Sasha getting together? He said, she said, come inside. Yeah, she's all ready straight to go up. now. No, she straight, straight told him, come inside. I understand. Like, I'm with you. Do you hear what I said, people? <laughs> yeah, say it again, just in case they didn't hear you. <laughs> she said, come inside. Yes, inside. <laughs> It's a, like a metaphor, kind of, or a allegory, something like that. If you think it, it's like, dude, we're going to be stuck here for maybe thirty years. Why not give us a try? <laughs> <laughs> Old thing, Abraham was missing with a radio above his head. That's all totally, he needed man. to <laughs> seal the deal. Just break out in your eyes. Could you imagine that? Oh, dude, awesome. they, well, Abraham's one to say anything, so we'll see. I don't know how that would work. But uh, no, I just think it's interesting. I like the idea of his character kind of going down this new path. And it'll be interesting to see what effect she has on him overall as far as being a, the fighter. Will she strengthen him further or will she draw him back a little bit? Yeah. Well, the, it all goes to everybody's like what um, Eugene said, stage two. In this episode, pretty much everybody is shifting. Mm-hmm. Not everybody, but just a predominantly a lot of the cast members in this picture episode is showing a shift and change of the character from the past right. and how it's going to affect the future so the things that are about to happen how they can react is with their newfound you know change in their way of mm-hmm. thinking you know eugene you know and freaking carol got up and freaking left and you know like i said abraham everybody has done a little bit of shifting in this episode completely so it's it's a, it's definitely you know now- it's like pretty much the wind is changing. You know, the winds are changing, you know, the seasons, whatever. Turn, and just, turn, turn. Oh. <laughs> we'll finish it. I don't, I don't know. know. It's, 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 anyway, but, but the, anyway, what yeah. I was thinking is also uh, when they were going out on this thing, when they first had the two groups, like Eugene, I kind of felt that he was okay. He he seemed safe enough as far as the way the the core group's been this, this season. And as soon as uh, Not a Doctor and Daryl and them were going out, I'm like, oh, she's not coming back. But I had no... There was never an inkling in my mind how she was not going to come back. You know what I mean? Like, I Hmm. thought it was going to be something stupid. Like, she was going to, you know... Try to kill kill a zombie. zombie. I thought it was either going to be in that room or in the car. I thought for sure something was going to happen. Oh man, come on! Were you not hoping for a baby zombie? I was not. Were oh, you not? totally. I was yeah, hoping like that. a child zombie because of all the pictures. Absolutely, I was. <laughs> that would have been, just, yeah. and that would have oh, that would have broken her. She wouldn't have known how to deal with that in any way. That's been perfect. Yeah. Like you know, do you have, have you been out there? No. So let's give everybody the worst. I mean, everybody the worst thing you yeah. think of. A, a mother holding their baby, you know, to die. You know, like oh my goodness, was banging in the baby, trying to get yeah. out, you know, like. Ugh. I mean, yeah, it's cruel. Not cruel, but come no, on, man. Yeah, do it. Though. That's do the it. world. Yeah, it would be just so hardcore. And but uh, So you have that. But then at the same time, like I just didn't see the... I, and I, honestly, I knew the Saviors were going to have something to do before the end of the episode. Man, when that arrow came, that was like from out of nowhere. I was not expecting that at all. But hey, it was right while she was talking about her twin brother. So let that be a lesson for you. Don't talk, Don't about, talk family, about a family the that ain't there no more. Glenn, are you listening? <laughs> but when that arrow went through, I was like, "Dude, okay, it's it's on. Yeah. <laughs> it's there's your arrow. Hey, hey, it's Daryl's arrow. It's a small world, <laughs> smaller even with this with this plague and shit. It was a, it was a good shootout. It was cool. It's just it's inevitable. Like like you said, you covered earlier about they know you're about your location. Mm-hmm. We want in, and we want to take what we want, and that's what we usually do. Yep. And, and the thing is, like I kept, like Maggie said, we got to kill them all. Man, we should have chased those fools down, killed them Every all. Every damn one of them. Every last one. That's how you finish it. 
But then the thing is, they'll go back. Yeah, man, we, we got one of them finally. And like, <laughs> oh, dude. One of them. Negan can't even be happy with them coming back. We got one. It was some fat chick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's what? it. That's their big victory. You guys had all these weapons. Yeah. And there's how many were there? Uh, Three? <laughs> it's eight of you guys yep. out there. <laughs> and only five of I them came back. In the, in the fact, they're running back to tell them how bad yeah, they did. Got our, <laughs> Negan, Negan. Got our ass kicked. Hey, at least these guys made it away. The last several groups, like all of them died, man. <laughs> so, that is yeah, true. Yeah, Negan's got to be like, like, dude, okay, this, enough is enough already. You're killing my people everywhere. Well, think well, think about this. That guy, Dwight, going to go back. Hey, I know one of the dudes. This is, what's his name? Blah, 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 blah. We ran into him and took his bike, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, they're getting some intel. But like you said, they're watching the place. But yeah, this is the first time they actually had people survive and got mm-hmm. away. Because, you know, Rick, what was he, four for one now? I mean, because damn. Yeah, between I mean, the guys they, on the road, the people at the compound, the redhead, and, the people, and those people that took uh, Maggie and uh, and Carol. And, killed and, and, and then, Yeah, and the people that came to save the people that took Maggie and Carol. All of them. There's <laughs> none of them made it out, man. And they got one. Yeah. They got yep. one. Just and it was one. the one who had never been out of the walls before. If you never left, don't start now. Hey, you know, that's pretty much a good rule. If you're not going out there all the time anyway, just stop. You know, just <laughs> realize that you need to just kick back, let somebody else fight this battle for you, and you find some other way to be useful. And you know, here's my argument. You're the only doctor we yep. got. You don't need to be out there. We'll bring every fucking Which pill. was her exact reason they, for not going with Tara in the first place. Which now she's yeah. like, I could have gone with. Well, you said you couldn't go with because you're a doctor. Yet here you are going out on this dangerous mission. And that's the other thing is when she's like, I can tell you what drugs to get. Why didn't Daryl go? It doesn't matter. We're bringing everything we find. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Why? Did, he's like, I don't need you to go. I, I'll just bring everything. And you can sort it out when I get back. Like that's what he should have yeah. done, but at the at the same time they needed somebody to kill, and I'd much rather it be not a doctor than uh, than Rosita or Daryl. So, uh, no, a doctor was starting to look kind of cute. I mean, and she was starting to. Hey, well, she, she took the glasses off and threw up on her glasses. Kind of sexy. She went all lesbo, and I'm good with that. That's <laughs> <laughs> so. Can I be behind that suit? Can I be behind that bookcase? I'll, yeah, I'll there's now that. there's a bookcase I'll get behind right there. I'll tell you that. <laughs> But that's the thing is, you know, it's just, that's the show. It does, it does stuff like that. It brings in the gay characters, which is fine. I think that's really an interesting, uh, you know, aspect of this world because at this point it really doesn't matter anymore. You know, it used to kind of not matter. Now it really doesn't matter who's dick or crotch or whatever you want. Cause everybody's taking what they want. And you know, Eugene wants some crotch. Yeah, Eugene wants some of that Rosita. He's trying. He brought her cookies. Well, no, he's done with that. He's he, well. At this point, now he's trying to make bullets, and again, maybe that's something he can do to impress her. Hey, look, you know, I'm pulling. I'm pulling look at my these weight bullets are made. Look, look what they're, look what they're called. They're called Rosita. Yeah, but he's pulling his weight a little bit. I think that's what's important. You know, it's kind of one of those things. You know, if you ain't got a job kind of deal, you know. So he's like now he's joboing, and he's you know. You gotta have a job if you want to be you know with what I'm me. Seeing? So. He's trying, man. He's trying. He's trying. Uh, well, that's what's going on here, people. This is what the show's about. Trying. trying. Make a change in your life. <laughs> trying. Like that zombie at the beginning that was trying to get his face off the rebar. Oh, was that not cool? Oh. That, I mean, every episode they try to do something yep. different. Freaking through the cheek. Dude, it is hard to get an orthodontist once you're dead. I'll tell you that. You can't get an appointment. Nobody wants to see you. I can't. He's too bitey. I can't get this chicken out of my... I got this chicken stuck in my teeth. Yeah, I'm trying to get it out. Yeah, and use this pipe. Oh, that was goodness. brutal. Yeah, that guy was hitting the pipe. Pipe hit him back. Apparently, that's the way that worked. <laughs> he was hitting the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> that we call the zombie hitting the pipe zombie. Hitting the pipe zombie. <laughs> it's doom, 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 doom. I don't know. That's the music that they usually play on Talking Dead. But hey, I know. don't. We don't talk about the show. Yeah. We are the number one show. We are the number one show. That uh, that Chris Hardwick guy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. How many, show, yeah, how many talk him. shows he, does he yeah, do? Oh my God, you know. I saw him here during South yeah, I, I would, I I would just... kill to have that man's job. <laughs> well, you're building it now. I'm building anyway. it now. I'm on my way. Any day I'll lose Definitely. a bunch of weight and I can put on a suit and look like Kermit the Frog too. So it's cool. 
you know, anyway, cool people. So anyway, uh, pretty cool episode. We're down to two. We're down to two again. Left. Man, it's getting down to the wire here. Now, what's your prediction for the last two? I think they're gonna have like flapjacks. They're gonna get flapjacks, <laughs> man. It's gonna they're gonna go and all have breakfast. Well, I'm telling you this: the next episode is going to have such a cliffhanger for the final episode, which is gonna have an even bigger cliffhanger. It's gonna it's going on. It's going down now because we're now. We're, I believe, if my prediction is gonna be correct, is that we should see the saviors. We should start seeing what they mm-hmm. got. Maybe. I mean, maybe yeah, they might be saving to. it for next season. And it, it, yes, or the fact that we can see what's going on at Hilltop. Yeah. Maybe they're going through some shit. Yeah, well, that's the thing is we haven't returned to Hilltop yet, so that could be the next yeah, episode. So I think there, I, my prediction is they're going to go back to Hilltop, and and yeah, it's time to deal with the uh, saviors. No, but that would make so. sense if they go back to Hilltop and say, look, we took care of them all. We took out this guy, said he was Negan. We took out this fat chick, said she was Negan. So, and they go bullshit. He's here right exactly. now. Exactly, yeah, that's the thing. And then yeah. he's gonna walk out in the next episode, proving you wrong, just like I said. Oh my goodness, <laughs> people. Well, here's the thing, though, people. We're gonna find out tomorrow. You're right. Next week, we're gonna just like at the end of the episode. I'm not gonna say anything. I want to make. I'm I wanna not even mention uh-huh. that we didn't see Negan. Well, I'll tell you right oh, now. If I we won't... don't see him, I'm not mentioning it at all. I'm just be like, what? No, I never <laughs> made that prediction. We have a very awkward. You're episode putting words of in my Bring mouth. Out the dead. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen next week we'll be like, yeah, um, if you just hear a silent oh. episode next week you'll know we're not speaking <laughs> <laughs> but we still got two more to go but oh, man I'm already excited about next season again dude we go through this every season we were all excited okay the first episode down to last two it goes fast and 16 like, episodes burns by quickly and there was a break between yep. it. It's insane how this works, yep. people. And Time moves very ooh. fast in this world. Just remember but luckily, that. But luckily, we'll have the fear of the walking oh, dead. Oh, yeah. To keep, keep us, us all <laughs> so warm and fuzzy until they come back. I can't wait. Keep us occupied. Occupied, yeah. I'm telling <laughs> you. I'd rather spend a week at the Overlook Hotel in the middle of winter than watch another episode of The Walking Dead. Would you do that job for real? The Overlook Hotel? Forever yeah. and ever, hell yeah! As what six months? No, like four, four months. No, I mean, it was, was like it? four months? But I mean, you got to do it for the rest of your life. That's what. That's the cool part. Not only the for the rest of your life, but for the rest of eternity, which makes you immortal. So hell yeah, that's a pretty good job. It's better than sitting in a cave like that idiot knight with the Holy Grail. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> that would, would would be the that would be pretty. That bad. would be bad if you're gonna have an immortality. You don't want to just sit in a cave. That's not cool. What is that? It's like you're reading the Bible and you get to the last page and you just close it and then the, well, open it to the you beginning. You gotta think at one point they had, somebody had to tell him, okay, now that you're here, you're gonna be immortal, but you can't ever leave here. He's like, what? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> we got you some magazines. Yeah. <laughs> You know, this don't drink from these glasses, just this one. So how often will somebody Wait, come ones? by? I don't know, every couple thousand years or so. Oh. Maybe. Come on. Don't be so selfish. Don't worry, we're going to hide it in the desert. Nobody's ever going to find this place. Oh, great. Thanks. And if they do show up, we're well, going to cut off their head or make them fall off a bridge that they can't see. And you know. Well, that went off topic quickly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome to the Bring Out the Dead show. Uh, this is Ross Miller over here in Los Angeles. You get yourself Tony Lamar here. But I tell you what, people, thanks for checking us out. We'll be back next week with another episode of Bring Out the Dead. You can see Ross Miller where? Uh, and, uh, the, the toilet, probably. I'll be live on Facebook from time to time, so friend me on Facebook and tune in. And how they find you on Facebook? I don't know, how man. What do you keep you? asking me all these questions for? I'll put a link down in the thing. <laughs> so angry i'm trying to help him get people <laughs> well you know what people i don't want you to bother me this week matter of fact i'm gonna give out my information you don't have it by now i don't want yeah. you on me don't Tough. forget it i'm not tell i'm not telling you this week deal with that but if you want to write me you can <laughs> <laughs> kind of write what i say you can write me or whatever you can whatever. i'm gonna put his link down there too so don't do that i didn't i'm telling this is a non um branding episode. Okay, no link. Not give out my information. No link then. It's you, up to you. No, no. link. That's the final word, no link. <laughs>